Remember how a while back we did those NSC barrel ore cars in HO scale? Well, now we're doing them in N scale, yo. Just think of the incredible train you could fit in such a tiny space. Hi, Dan Darnell uh, from Rapido Trains Inc. I'm currently the project manager on the HO version of the barrel ore cars, and I like them so much I decided to do them in N scale. These cars were in captive service from the Dane Mines in Northern Ontario to uh, DeFasco Steel in Hamilton, Ontario, carrying iron ore pellets. At the end of their lives, when the train was uh, cancelled, they were sold off, and these cars went pretty much from the West Coast to the East Coast in different types of service, a lot of them being converted to ballast hopper cars. I know there's some on the BNSF painted all black, and some of them went to the East Coast to be used in cement service. CN also rebuilt a bunch of them for cement service in uh, Western Canada. So in N we have the two versions, the long barrel and the short barrel car. We have a full die cast metal frame underneath the car. You can see the level of detail that's in there. We have separate brake rods, brake pipes, door activating arms. It comes with our knuckle style coupler, metal wheel sets, see-through walkways on the ends. We have the rubber tires up on the top for the opening of the doors. Our doors don't open in N scale, didn't in HO either. Almost a direct copy of the HO car as far as level of detail. A few cast on grab irons just because of the size. All the detail of HO scale in one eighth of the volume. We have the short barrel ore car in the CN mineral brown. We have the rebuilt CN scale test car the Ontario Northland Progressive Scheme. The long cars come in two paint schemes, again of the CN Mineral Brown and the O&R Chevron Scheme in the yellow and blue. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoy these and look for them soon in the stores. Take care. The world is running out of helium, and this is what we do with it. Once upon a midnight dreary, while I pondered weak and weary, over many a quaint and curious volume of forgotten lore, while I nodded nearly napping, suddenly there came a tapping, as of someone gently tapping, rapping at my chamber door. "'Tis some visitor,' I muttered, tapping at my chamber door. Only this and nothing more." Ah, distinctly I remember, it was the bleak December, and each dying ember...